In Onshape, there are three different kinds of hems that you can create in a sheet metal model. Let's take a look at those. To start off, I will go to the hem command, which I can find from the drop down list for the sheet metal commands. I will choose it. The dialog box opens up. The first thing that you're going to select are the edges or side faces that you want to attach the hem to. Let me select an edge in my model and it has created the hem. So you can see the geometry. I'm going to switch to my right view. And when I zoom in, this type is a straight hem. From the drop down list, you can change to rolled and teardrop. I'll show that in a moment. And this is right now flattened. In other words, it's going to be flat to the surface that it is attached to. And there is a small gap in between there. I'm going to hit the check mark to show you what controls that gap. I will go to the sheet metal model feature for this part in my part studio. I'll right click on it and choose edit. And here we have our minimal gap. It is set at 0.1 in my model currently. If I change this to a value of one and then hit the check mark, you can see that the gap is now bigger. Let's edit that hem. I'm going to select it and then right click and choose edit. I'm going to change this from flattened and now you can see how you have the control over the inner radius. I'm going to flip this because I want it going on the other side. I want this sort of be sort of like a, something I can use to hang this on the second part in my part studio. So I'm going to change the hem alignment from outer, which maintains the length of the original wall. I'm going to choose in place so it gets added on top of the original wall. I'm going to change the inner radius to a value of two. Actually, let's change it to a value of one, seeing as my thickness of my second part is a value of two. So now I've got it looking the way that I want. You also have control over the total length. So for example, I could change length to 50 and it gets longer or I can make it shorter. Maybe I just want a value of 20. So that is good for my first hem. I will hit the check mark in order to complete it. Now let's take a look at the other two types. Let's go to the hem command once more and I will select the edge that I want to attach it to. Let me flip it to the other side that you can see it. And let me also select another edge in the model. Just want them on the outside. Let's change the type from straight to rolled. And now I will move and zoom into the model. And we've got a few different controls in here. The inner radius right now is quite small. Let's use a value of five, so it's bigger. And you have the angle right now, it's 270 degrees. You can change the value. For the hem alignment, well, it's in place. I can change this to outer. So again, it will maintain the length of the original wall. That's good for my second hem. Let's hit the check mark. And now let's create our third type of hem. I'll go to the hem command once more. Let me select the edge. Let me flip its direction so that you can see it. And from the drop down list, I will change from rolled to teardrop. Let me move in over here so you can see the shape of it. And it's using the minimal gap value as defined by the sheet metal model. I can uncheck that and that way you can control the size of the gap. Maybe I want it to be a value of 2.5. Here we have the total length of it. I could change this maybe to a value of 10. That makes it fail. Let's make it a value of 25. There we go. Now it is longer. And again, you've got the hem alignment. There's this one option that I have not shown yet, and it is for corner type. Let me complete this one, and I will go to this other corner here in the model. Let's say I create a hem. I'm going to attach it to a couple of the edges here, and it's going to the inside. Let me change it to a straight value, and let's make it just a little bit smaller, just kind of long for what I want. I'll use value of 20 and take a look at the geometry where we have the corner. Right now it's using the simple type of shape for the corner type. If you go to the drop down list, see what happens when I change it to closed. 
it sort of eliminates that gap that was changed that was created with the simple option and so if I'm happy with that I can hit the check mark and that way we have that other additional hem in the model so there you can there you can see the different ways that you can create hems in a sheet metal model in Onshape.